Flowem transport. Flow from source to sink. Sucrose is transported by the vascular tissue. Flowem. From source to a sink. Source is a part of plant which synthesizes food, leaf. Sink, the part that needs or stores food. Source and sink may reverse depending on the season. Sugar stored in the roots may be mobilized to become a source of food in the early spring when the buds of trees act as sink. They need energy for growth and development of the photosynthesis apparatus. Since the source sink relation is variable, the direction of the movement of phloem can be upwards or downwards, that is bidirectional. Food in phloem sap can be transported in any required direction so long as there is source of sugar and a sink able to store or remove the sugar. Phloem sap is mainly water and sucrose, but other sugars, hormones and amino acids are also transported or translocated through phloem. Pressure flow or mass flow hypothesis. Translocation is a phenomenon of conduction of organic or inorganic solutes from one place to another. The mechanism of transport through phloem is not perfectly understood and the principal theories are the mass flow hypothesis. The most accepted mechanism for translocation of sugars from source to sink is called pressure flow hypothesis. The German physiologist Munch in 1930 formulated this hypothesis. This can be demonstrated by simple experiment. Two osmometers, A and B, joined by horizontal tube, forming a closed system. The osmometer A has a membrane enclosing B. These are immersed in two tubes connected by a glass tube. Water enters both the osmometers, but more water enters into A than B due to higher concentrated solution existing create greater suction force. But as turgor pressure increases in osmometer A, water will move through horizontal tube X into osmometer B. Since the membrane is permeable only to water, water will be pressed out of B. So circulation of blood takes place from the tube in which B is present into the tube in which A is present through the connecting tube Y. A continuous mass movement will take place until the osmotic concentrations in both A and B are equalized. If there is a continuous supply of solute to A and a continuous removal of solute from the receiving osmometer B, there will be a continuous pressure flow from A to B. Thus, pressure flow continues when one of the cells is a supplying cell and the other is a receiving cell. Comparison of the model. The cells of leaf are considered to be the supplying units comparable to osmotic cell A and the cells of root constitute the receiving organs comparable to osmotic cell B. The xylem is comparable to the both containing water for both the osmotic systems. The sieve tubes of phloem correspond to glass tube X.